Welcome to ITAC in 3 Minutes, a lightning-fast guide to a powerful concept in the world of IT audit and risk management. If you've ever worked with SAP, Oracle, or any ERP system, you've seen IT application controls in action, maybe without even realizing it. Let's dive in and break it down with real examples that are simple, clear, and instantly relatable. ITAC stands for IT Application Controls. These are automated controls embedded within business applications to make sure data entered into processed by or output from a system is accurate, complete, and properly authorized. They work silently behind the scenes, helping prevent errors, fraud, and unauthorized access. You'll find ITACs everywhere, from creating vendors in SAP to processing invoices in Oracle. They work at three core stages, input, processing, and output. Plus, authorization rules act like bouncers, letting only the right users take the right actions. In SAP, when creating a new vendor, the system enforces mandatory fields like vendor name, tax ID, and bank account details. If any of these are missing, it won't allow you to save the record. This is an input control. It ensures only complete and valid data enters the system. It protects the business from poor quality data that could cause downstream errors in payments or reporting. In Oracle EBS, the system performs a three-way match, comparing the purchase order, goods receipt, and invoice. If quantities or prices don't match, Payment is automatically blocked until resolved. This protects the company from overpaying, duplicate payments, or paying for items never received. It's a classic ITAC that adds a layer of financial control without needing manual intervention. SAP can auto-generate reports, like a trial balance or monthly sales report, and schedule them to be delivered to specific roles via email. It ensures reports are generated consistently, in the correct format, and only sent to authorized recipients. This minimizes the chance of data leaks or sending incorrect financial data. Only an AP clerk role can post invoices, while a finance manager must approve them. In both SAP and Oracle, these roles are tightly mapped to tasks using role-based access controls. This reduces fraud risk, maintains segregation of duties, and enforces internal policies, automatically. ITACs are essential for business systems to function securely and reliably. They're automated, standardized, and repeatable meaning once set up correctly, they'll work the same way every time. For internal auditors and risk managers, they offer traceability, compliance with SOX or GDPR, and peace of mind that systems are working as intended. That's ITAC in three minutes. Clear, concise, and real. If you're in audit, consulting, IT risk, or ERP implementation, mastering ITACs is non-negotiable. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments. Which ITAC control have you seen in action or missed entirely? See you in the next one. Credits audit decoded by Mayuri.